Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today, I'm gonna answer a question that I get all the time. It's one of the most frequently asked questions here on the channel and in my social media accounts. And that is simply, how many social media accounts do you actually need? It's a fantastic question. There are so many social media platforms out there and new ones popping up every day. Now, again, you guys might have noticed that I'm active in quite a few of them, nearly all of them. But there is a reason for that. And part of it is, again, I run my own business as a design and content marketer. So I have the luxury of dictating my time, but I actually spend less time in social media than a lot of you might believe. I'm just really smart about micro time. But most of you probably shouldn't be in more than three or four of the most important platforms for you. So let's figure that out. You should be in a social media platform that your audience is in so that you can get the value that you want and give the value that they need. That's number one. The other thing is, number two, I think you should be playing to your strengths. I think that you should be in social media platforms that work for you. If you're somebody that's not comfortable in video, then guess what? YouTube is not a platform for you to be on, although I would argue that there are ways around that, and I still think it's a great platform. I'm gonna probably have to do a video on how to get you comfortable on camera just so that you can be on YouTube and get all the value that that can bring to your life. Not to mention, it's a fantastic way to grow your business. But again, if that's not something you're comfortable with, then you might be more comfortable with things like, let's say, Twitter or even medium.com and writing articles there. Or maybe you're very good at taking pictures but not being in front of the camera. So maybe Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, a few other things could be good for you. You could get very creative with Snapchat and never show your face if that's something that bothers you. Um, obviously, you could market in Facebook very effectively. In general, though, I do think there are core platforms. If you're a business professional, LinkedIn is an important platform still, but it is ultimately a Rolodex and a publishing platform. So use this judiciously and really think about how to be creative about that. Twitter is great for being able to interact with people in real time and not spend a lot of time doing it. So I actually do like Twitter as a core platform. So if you're going to do five platforms, I would say obviously have LinkedIn, but LinkedIn doesn't mean you have to spend every single day in LinkedIn. You could be in LinkedIn twice a week and it's fine and not spend more than five minutes there each time and it's okay. So being in LinkedIn almost doesn't even really count as like something that's sucking up your time. That's the thing that people are confused about. I need to do a whole video about this, about you know that perception, but you know it doesn't have to suck up a lot of your time. Twitter, you can do it when you're in line at the bank like I do. So you know that doesn't have to be a huge time suck if you don't let it, especially from your smartphone. The same is true for Facebook. So again, these platforms don't have to take over your life and posting at least once or twice a day to them is not anything difficult. You could do this with 15 minutes out of your day and be fine. The real biggies are like, should you be in Periscope? Should you be in YouTube? Should you be in Snapchat? Should you be in Instagram? These are important. And I would say if you're doing anything that's product related, um, then Instagram could be very good for you. If you're a marketer, I would say you figure out a good way to use Instagram because there's a lot of attention there and it's a very unique platform that you could take advantage of. And I think that if you're smart, you can actually use it to grow your email list. Someone who knows all about using Instagram for business is my friend, Sue B. Zimmerman. She's actually literally the Instagram expert. And so I would encourage you to check out her advice about Instagram as a platform, but you know, there are other things you need to consider about that. Do you have something that you're doing that you feel you can make visually interesting and are you creative enough to pull that off? So really think about playing to your strengths here. As someone with a background in graphic design, I've been able to actually get very creative with my Instagram account and you know, that's been working out really well. If you actually wanna see what I'm doing with it, you can actually follow me at Roberta Blake in Instagram. Something many of you have seen me do a lot lately is Periscope live streams. Periscope is a great way to really engage with people, do Q&A sessions, and I've been very effective with direct selling for my one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting in Periscope. In Periscope, in uh, this, like, uh, I'm filming this in January. We're close to the end of the wire here. I've gotten maybe 20 leads uh, from doing that in Periscope uh, just in doing this like a couple of times for the month and I've probably actually closed about 12 or so of those leads at this point uh, with some other ones being tentative. So again, that's huge in terms of what that means for revenue. So if you are in the marketing or consulting game, really think about how you might leverage that. Again, you know, it's a great platform if you're comfortable on camera. Snapchat is something new. I've got to do a dedicated video about this, but uh, ultimately the bottom line is Gary Vee was kind of right about Snapchat. But again, I don't think it's for everybody. 
just try and educate yourself about Snapchat as much as possible and see if it's for you. Again, if you're either very creative visually or you're comfortable on camera, this could be a tremendous platform for you and it doesn't have to be a huge time suck. If you are very comfortable on camera and you're also pretty personable, I recommend Blab.im. Blab is something that you guys may or may not be familiar with. I've been doing a lot of that. I actually have two shows that I do a week over on Blab and it's a great platform for actual face-to-face -face networking and conferencing. It is actually a group-based chat, so I would highly recommend you check that out. It's probably the most important networking platform in social media. I would say it's actually more important than LinkedIn in that regard for making real relationships and connections. Through doing Blab sessions, I've actually got to go face-to-face -face with people that I've followed in social media for a long time and engaged and interacting with, but actually build real relationships and expand on friendships that I have with people like Steve Dotto. So that's fantastic. I finally actually got to have a face-to-face -face with him. I got to have a face-to-face -face with my friend Owen Hemsath from VideoSpot. So again, this is a great platform for actually being able to make social media human. It's probably the most human social media platform there is. Can you leverage it for business? Uh, yeah, networking is always important for business, so the answer is yes, just don't let it get out of hand. And again, YouTube. You know as far as I'm concerned that YouTube is the ultimate social media platform uh, based on all the advantages of it, especially when it comes to search engine optimization, but it's not for everybody. I think that there's an advantage in a way that everyone could use it if they wanted to and if they had an effective strategy behind that, but again, not everybody has that skill set, and you know, that's actually something that I help people with in my one-on-one -on -one paid coaching and consulting sessions. So again, reach out to me if that's something that you're interested in. The key here that I keep reiterating is play to your strengths. Use the social media platforms that fit your personality, fit the needs of your audience, and are, that you think you can succeed in. And again, only dedicate the time that you actually have a day to take advantage of them and use them effectively. Maybe set yourself a timer. Maybe you actually should only be spending 30 or 45 minutes out of the entire day in social media. If you're going to do that, then you can take advantage of micro time. Again, this is something that I do on a regular basis. I literally just take a few moments, especially if I'm already doing something that doesn't require my full attention and it's time I'm never gonna get back anyway. Like if I'm in the passenger seat or if I'm traveling or if I'm in line somewhere, I just go ahead and whip out my phone and I just use social media and use that time effectively to connect with people and build relationships. So I know this one was a little long, but I hope it answers your question as far as how many social media platforms should you use? Uh, the ones that work for you, but again, maybe you should have a presence in all of them, but keep your activity focused around your top five. For some of you, that might be too much, so maybe it's your top three. But anyway, uh, I hope this answered that question for you, but if you still have questions about social media, marketing yourself, or if you're interested in my coaching, let me know in the comment section. I'll try and answer as many of your questions as I can. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.